So is it correct to say that there's a lack of coordination between the local police force and Assam Rifles? Uh, you can't say that. Uh, let's get back a little into the past. All the anti-insurgency operations that have happened with Assam Rifle and Indian Army on one side, we also have had the Manipur police constantly by our side, due to which we've had a lot of success. But uh, in this particular instance, the moment this happened, the police got divided on ethnic lines, as you know. So from that date till now, uh, and let me be very honest in saying that there is no Manipur police. It is Methi police, there is Kuki police. That's how they went into their respective areas, and that is how they have been since then. Are you saying that there are only Methi police officers in uh, valley areas and Kuki police officers in the hill areas? I'm not talking of officers. I'm talking of the uh, constabulary. Non yeah, constabulary. So are you saying that 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 ethnic divide is complete? That ethnic divide is uh, more or less complete uh, in the police, and that was one of the problems. See, in any internal security situation, if you don't have the local police by your side, it's very difficult. Uh, you try and think of such a situation in JNK. Uh, surely the successes that the army and the Russian rifles have been getting are largely because of uh, the police being by their side, which was not the case here. Are you saying that there is a lack of cooperation from police when it comes to Assam rifles? It is not a question of uh, cooperation. It is a question of they're being drawn out to their respective uh, ethnic uh, identity, possibly because of the pressures that are there. If they didn't go, uh, you don't know what would have happened to their families. So it was in their own interest. I won't blame them. The situation was so volatile uh, that they had no option but to go back to their areas where they belong to. Let me come to the moot point, sir. And then we'll go to the issues like Myanmar, foreign militants and poppy cultivation, and even drones. Why are Maiti so opposed to Assam rifles? Uh, thanks, Atik. I'm glad you asked that question because this is something that I keep getting asked. Uh, again, it is not uh, after 3rd of May that they've uh, become anti-Assam rifle. You need to, again, go into the past. Everything that is happening now has a historical background. And uh, we'll talk now only of the Maitis. We will talk about Kukis, Nagas later, as and when the questions come. But uh, the Maitis, they have these two uh, former, uh, these groups are still existing, the valley-based insurgent groups. UNLF, the first one, raised in 1964. And then they took up arms against the uh, Army and Assam Rifles somewhere uh, 89 or 90. Then you have PLA, which came up subsequently again in 1978. Then you have other factions. You, you have the... Um, uh, uh, you have uh, KYKL, you have KCP, uh, all these are there, pre park These are all multiple factions of uh, the Methi groups and historically we have been acting against them. So there is always this baggage about Assam Rifles and all of them in some way uh, have some connect with the civil society. And let me clarify here, it is not that all the Methis are against us, it is not the case, it is just that these are some groups who create a narration, a narrative that Assam Rifles is against us.